Hey guys, this is Chad at 50 at your service, and we are back with another playthrough. A very special playthrough. A very, like, didn't think I would be doing playthrough. Uh, as you can tell in the title, uh, it is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And, uh, I wonder what the audio is. Oh, lord. Okay, that scared the crap. I mean, I didn't expect the audio to be that loud. <laughs> Anyways, uh, with that being said, guys, um, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. Which, uh, is a very old classic, uh, PS2 game that, um, doesn't play like your normal Yu-Gi-Oh! This back when Yu-Gi-Oh! was making video games and stuff like that, uh, 9 out of 10, most of the time, every Yu-Gi-Oh! game was different, which is cool. So, um, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm very excited on where this is gonna go. Um, gonna be, like, a lot of interesting choices to pick from and stuff like that. So, but yeah, no, it's gonna be really exciting to kind of like figure out how we're gonna go through this and stuff like that together. Uh, I've been always wanting to do a Yu-Gi-Oh game on the channel because, um, along with Star Wars, so like I'm at least doing Star Wars right now on Twitch, and then I'm at least doing Yu-Gi-Oh on YouTube, which is very exciting. So hopefully, um, be able to be able to do something with that, which will be exciting for. So, uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm very excited to see what, um, what type of, uh, playthrough this is going to be, exactly. Um, but, uh, okay, let's see here. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think anything else I need to discuss. So, uh, before I get this started, uh, thank you guys so much for just watching the YouTube stuff, because I know, uh, uh, Twitch has been still, like, a takeover thing for me. So, but I'll continue to try to do these playthroughs, like, once a week, like I usually do. But anyways, uh, we're just gonna jump right into this, and hopefully again, um, uh, if it also looks a little bit different, guys, uh, I'm actually using a new HDMI converter, so hopefully that'll be, uh, a little bit better to use, because, uh, the good part is I don't have to use a 3.5 millimeter audio jack to connect to my computer, so, yahoo! Anyways, we're gonna go right into this, shall we? And then, uh, to see what this magnificent journey is going to be about of going through this. Okay. Uh, the Brit- Oh my god, I totally forgot this is where it takes place. So, in the 1480s, with, like, British and all that jazz, that- that- that's going to be interesting. Uh, the War of the Roses. So, basically, um, the ma major gimmick of the game. Uh, let's see here. The Yorkus. And, uh, oh, there's Yugi. Uh, he is a, he, he's from Friends. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but, um, that's, that's gonna be interesting. Okay. Uh, there's Seto. Okay. Uh, they are lacking a champion. We're still, uh, okay. So basically, for war, it's still, uh, related on, uh, children's card games to take over the world. So, that, that, that hasn't changed one bit. Uh, um, let's see here. And, uh, I see something. Okay, we're just gonna fall straight down into, uh, this little area here. Okay. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this character. Uh, to give you guys a little knowledge, Simon is one of the characters that only existed in the game, so that I would have been blessed if he exi is existed in the series, but anyways. Uh, you summoned me. Okay. Uh, as the Rose Duelist. That'll be, that'll be a little bit interesting. Okay, okay. N ni nice, nice to meet you. Okay, my apologies. Okay. Um, alright. Uh, we'll go through this. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna name ourselves Ty. Now, here's the cool part, guys, with this. Um, Duels of the Rose actually did something really interesting, where, depending on your name or how it's characteristic, uh, we're gonna be getting starter decks based on the name. So, honestly, I don't know what this combination could be. It could be... I don't know. Like, is, there's, like, a lot of starter decks that we could start out with, so hopefully, just crossing our fingers, we get a decent one at that. So, we're gonna name ourselves Ty, and we're gonna keep going. Okay. A fine name indeed. Well, of course it is. It is my name. 
Um, so we're at least just gonna be uh, explaining the history here. So like, just basically, there's gonna be a giant power struggle between uh, the Red Roses of Lancastrians and the White Rose for the Yorkists. If I'm saying that right, it sounds like New York. For like, <laughs> if you live in New York, it's like Yorkists. <laughs> But, okay. Um, okay. So you summoned us to beat the White Roses. Okay. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. Uh, dueling is preferred called as a perfect rule. Okay. So, uh, and then we also have deck leaders, which I will try to explain my best on that retrospect what that's going to be. So hopefully it's going to be good. Okay. Uh, we don't need to play practice school duel because I actually kind of want to go into this trying to remember everything. Um, kind of stupid, but we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, duel three. Okay. So, okay, so that's insect, even though it's fairy. Okay, so we have that, that. Okay. Uh, that is zombies. Uh, summoning levels. Okay. Uh, we might just pick the dragon one. Uh, even though it is weaker, but... I'm kind of liking the dragon. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go dragons, because again, like, um... Most of the stuff that I run in Yu-Gi-Oh! a long time ago, uh, I was spellcasters, dragons, so maybe we could do something with that on the line. So yeah, we'll do dragons. Okay. Uh, I wonder who's saying this. Oh my god, Seto Kaipa. <laughs> Duelist. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Join my side. I have blue eyes. <laughs> uh, okay. Guys, the nostalgia of this is like making me like very glad I'm playing this. Okay. Okay, I come for the red roses after all. Okay. Okay. Okay, so apparently with these rose cards, they are pretty much going to be used to, like, rule the world if you collect all of them. Okay. Okay. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, so you're basically bargaining me that if I join your side, Seto, you'll return me to my time. But with Simon... Okay, I'm just trying to follow up. So with Simon, he summoned us just to beat them. But Seto's in here like, okay, if you join my side, I promise you, you'll, you'll, you'll return home. Guaranteed. Well, both bargains sound very promising, because, like, either either one doesn't really have a... Oh, man, okay, Simon's pleading. Simon's pleading. Okay. Okay, Simon. Okay. Okay, well, Kaiba's being more of a gentleman of, like, hey, listen, even though you summoned Ty here, like, listen, let, let, let him decide. Let him decide. For the sake of justice, pick the red. Okay. So, uh, we're actually going to end this here for the intro, because this is probably a decent intro, but um, whatever choice I make, that's going to be the official part one, and you'll probably see it in the title. But anyways, without further ado, this is Jedi 15, and I'll see you guys in the official part one. Bye!